Did you notice the fatal mistakes athletes made at the Olympics this year? We did, and we decided to make a video just for your viewing pleasure. We went scouring the internet for the most fatal mistakes, and this video is the result. Let's see how many you noticed and which ones we may have missed. Number 1. Nurislam Sanayev Bites His Opponent The 57-kilogram men's freestyle wrestling semifinal took an unusual turn when Kazakhstan's Nurislam Sanayev sank his fangs into his opponent, Ravi Kumar Dahia's bicep. After squandering a 9-2 lead over his Indian opponent, Sanayev's Mike Tyson moment was developed out of frustration. Sanayev's bite came as his opponent landed the decisive pin to win the battle. The Kazakhstani only needed one more point to qualify for the gold medal match, but Dahia came roaring back, winning eight points in a row. The moment Sanayev bit his opponent, he signaled to himself and everyone else that he was done. Number 2. Simone Biles' Floor Routine During their round, both Biles and McCallum stepped out of bounds while performing their routines. Biles made a significant blunder when she flew off the floor during a tumbling pass and landed with her feet outside the mat. As she landed on the vault, the superstar took a giant stride off the mat. After the blunder, she rolled her eyes visibly. After finishing the qualifying round, Biles commented, I think we did a really decent job. Obviously, there are a few areas we need to improve on, so we'll go back and train and work on them so we can give it our all in the team finals, because that's what matters. We're aiming for a top three place finish. Later, it would become evident that Biles had lost all her motivation for the Olympics and was simply going through the motions due to a bout of what gymnasts term the twisties. According to the BBC, the twisties can cause a person to lose their sense of space and dimension as they're in the air, causing them to lose control of their body and do extra twists or flips that they hadn't intended. In the worst cases, they can find themselves suddenly unable to land safely. After comparing Biles to Kerry Strug, who competed in the 1996 Olympics despite a damaged ankle, Texas Deputy Attorney General Aaron Wrights labeled her a selfish, infantile national humiliation. He's now attempting to make amends for what he said. Number 3. Murad Aliyev's Headbutt That Got Him Disqualified When referee Andy Mustachio dismissed Murad Aliyev with four seconds left in the second round, he responded angrily. Aliyev had purposefully used his head to collide with the British opponent Fraser Clark, who suffered serious cuts near both of his eyes, according to the referee. Aliyev sat on the canvas just outside the ropes and above the steps leading down to the arena floor after the verdict was pronounced. He stayed still, and a officials from the French team approached him to speak with him and bring him water. Following his disqualification for this intentional headbutt, Aliyev protested by refusing to leave the ring for an hour or so. In his post-match statements, Aliyev remarked, I would have won, but it had already been written that I was disqualified. I've spent my entire life preparing for this, so being angry at the outcome is only natural. This moment denied him the chance of getting the medal he may have deserved, and this is the only reason the world remembers his name at this time. Number 4. The U.S. Men's Relay team failed to qualify for the final. Critics slammed the U.S. men's relay team failure to qualify for the 4,100-meter final as a complete humiliation. Despite having three of the world's fastest 100-meter runners on the team, the relay team finished sixth in the semifinals. Carl Lewis chimed in on Twitter with the following remark, The USA team did everything wrong in the men's relay. The passing system is wrong, athletes running the wrong legs, and it was clear that there was no leadership. It was a total embarrassment and completely unacceptable for a USA team to look worse than the AAU kids I saw. How does a team with such fast athletes not even make it? How did they train? How were they managed? How could they let a gold medal slip through their fingers? The answers are not forthcoming. One thing is for sure, they snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. Number 5. Kohai Ichimura's High Bar Fall Ichimura, a four-time Olympic gymnast, stumbled while completing his high bar routine, effectively eliminating his chances of earning a gold for Japan. Ichimura did not qualify for the high bar finals, which was his only event at this year's games because he was not a member of his country's squad. Ichimura lost his grip and fell off the apparatus after completing three sky-high release routines to open his high bar routine. It all changed in an instant. In gymnastics, this is always the case. He was on the mat all of a sudden. A tiny group of coaches, administrators, and dignitaries who had gathered to observe let out a small gasp. Ichimura slowly rose up, collected himself, and hopped back up for a possible final ride. Despite Despite completing the rest of his set successfully after remounting the high bar, his score of 13.866 was insufficient to place in the top 8 and progress to the event finals. Ichimura, 32, was one of the best male gymnasts of all time at the time of his peak, winning every world and Olympic all-around title from 2009 to 2016, and becoming the first man in 44 years to win the solo all-around podium in back-to-back -back Olympics with a thrilling final in Rio 2016. This was one of the biggest disappointments for 
Japan, who placed a lot of hope on Uchimura's bringing home a medal at the Olympics. This was also Uchimura's last Olympics, so it was a double whammy for the athlete. Number 6. Cycling Mistake After colliding during the penultimate lap of the men's team pursuit, Denmark's Frederick Madsen lived up to his surname by erupting into an expletive-laden diatribe at the Great Britain's Charlie Tanfield. What made matters worse was that the incident was largely due to Madsen's failure to notice Tanfield had dropped off from the rest of the British riders since he was gazing down at the black line on the circuit rather than what was in front of him. In the aftermath, photograph of Madsen standing over Tanfield angrily berating his opponent before storming out of the track at the Itsu Velodrome painted him as a disgruntled figure. Maybe he was actually disgruntled. British Cycling had the following to say in a tweet. Well, that was eventful. Denmark advanced to the gold medal final in the men's team pursuit. We're incredibly proud of our team and their performance over the competition. Number 7. Ashley Barty exits in the first round The number one player in the world, Ashley Barty of Australia, was knocked out of the first round by Sarah Soribes Tormo of Spain, 6-4, 6-3. Barty, the world's top-ranked tennis player, had just won the 2021 Wimbledon final two weeks before. Soribes Tormo, 24, did not have an ace and only hit four winners, capitalizing on Barty's careless play. Barty had four aces and 24 winners, but she was undone by 55 unforced errors, compared to Soribe Tormo's 13. Only 54% of the time did Barty strike her initial serve correctly. Soribe's Tormo is ranked number 48 in the world and has only one WTA victory, which came in March in Guadalajara, Mexico at the Alberto Zapopan. In her career, she has only made it past the second round of a Grand Slam. For someone with the ability of Barty, her exit was a grave mistake. If Tormo played better than her, all would have been fair, but Barty handed the victory to Tormo. Number 8. Naomi Osaka almost pulls a Barty as well. Naomi Osaka, the Japanese superstar, was knocked out in the third round, losing 6-4, 6-1 in under an hour. Osaka, the host country's celebrity, was defeated by Marketa Vadrasova of the Czech Republic in the third round of the Tokyo Tennis Tournament. The world number 2 Osaka, who was born in Japan and raised in the United States, struggled with her regular ground strokes in the match. Vadrasova, ranked 42nd, pushed Osaka out of her comfort zone with a succession of drop shot victories and other depth skills. Following a two-month mental health hiatus, Osaka won her first two matches in straight sets. During this match, though, the weather was different, with the roof closed since it was raining outside. Although Osaka's exit was not quite as perplexing as that of Ashley Barty, she will feel like she lost a golden opportunity in her home country. Number 9. Thomas van der Platzen Long Jump Fail Thomas van der Platzen of Belgium entered the decathlon with legitimate medal chances, but he was forced to withdraw after sustaining a major knee injury in the build-up to his long jump attempt. Van der Platzen flew through the air and landed face first in the sand in an end result, which was extensively shared on social media. It was the 30-year-old Belgian's final contribution to the games as he exited in a wheelchair after severely hyperextending his right knee. In a single moment, his and his country's chances were gone on gaining a medal from him. Number 10. France's Johan Nadoya Bruard hit the wall Johan Nadoya Bruard, a French swimmer, was having a bad day in the same race when Ryan Murphy sailed into the men's 100 backstroke final. After setting his sights on a spot in the final, Nadoya Bruard was disappointed when he failed to notice the flag signaling that he would need to flip and push off the rapidly approaching wall. As a result, he crashed into the middle of the stroke. In an attempt to remedy it, he ended up on his stomach as his feet departed the wall, disqualifying him immediately. It didn't matter because the Frenchman came in dead last in the heat. He then explained the mistake as a result of an existing eye ailment. His mistake cost him at least a place or two. Which mistake was the worst? What is your take on athletes who have the world's ability and still prove mediocre and the greatest sporting event in the world? Do you think COVID-19 played a role? That's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and comment below. Who would you like to see next? Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new to the channel to be notified when we upload more content. Thank you!